Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to GTA 5 LSPD4 0.4 tutorial series. Today we're actually going to be doing the easier kind of stuff. Um, we're going to be installing graphics and sirens. Now, I'm actually going to be using Natural Vision Remastered. Um, you can go ahead and use any graphics mod you want. They all basically are almost the same thing with the OIV install and everything. So it's pretty, pretty simple. I'll show you guys how to do it. I'll show you guys what it looks like in-game. Let's go ahead and get right into this tutorial. We're going to head and download Natural Vision Remastered off of GTA5Mods.com or GTA5-Mods.com and then we'll also go ahead and install the Modern Siren Pack by Gravel Road Cop. Um, I just chose this Siren Pack just because it has multiple Siren Packs and I can show you guys how to install different, different versions of it. It makes it a lot easier instead of just installing one. Go ahead and install the newest version, 3.1.0. And the stupid, stupid, stupid capture stuff, which I don't understand. U5J, I believe that's what it is. Perfect. So I already have, as you can see here, I have two different folders set up for NVR and the sirens. Because as you can see here, there is a shit ton of files. But we're going to do readme English and then all this fun stuff in here. Let that stuff extract out of there. I don't need... I don't need all these other readmes in the different languages. I just need the English... Yeah. I don't need the other readmes in the different languages. I just need the uh, English one. So let's go ahead and X out of that because that should be in the folder right now. There it is. Perfect. And then the modern siren pack will just go straight into sirens. Let that extract. Takes a minute. Done. Boom. Close out of that. Close out of that. I'll have the links in the description for both of those. As again, you will need open four. Um, this is how you're going to install everything. So, you're going to want to go to your edit mode. And then we're going to go to tools. Now, with the NVR, you have your main files. Um, you have your manual install, which you can do that as well if you want to. And you also have a whole bunch of different optional add-ons that you can throw into the game. I'm not going to go over any of these, but if you are going to install any of these add-ons, make sure you install NVR, the main mod, first. And then if you are going to install any of these, make sure that you install them in order. So if you go from, like, let's say 10, like you want your brighter, brighter vehicle taillights, and then, I don't know, let's say you install 8, 10 will not work because it'll override it. So make sure you install in order from 1 to 20 or 1 to 9, 1 to 18 if you are going to be doing that. So doing graphics mods is very, very simple. Tools, package installer, and we're going to go to desktop. And then we're going to go to, it was NVR, natural vision installer. The message will come up, natural vision, install to your mods folder, of course, always, always, always go in your mods folder. Always, always, always make backups. Take some time to install. All right, with natural vision remastered being as big as it is, it will take some time to install. Um, if you're using like a smaller mod like Visual V, it's not going to take as much time to install. But if you're using Redux, which is like the most powerful graphics mod of GTA, then it'll take a little bit longer than NVR does to install. You know, once that is done, you're basically good to go. Um, I'm not going to install any of the add-ons just now. And like I said, if you are going to use them, make sure you go in order from 1 to 18. Um, basically, same thing with any other um, visual mods that you decide you want to use. If there are add-ons, make sure you throw them in an order. Majority of the graphics mods are actually just OIV installs. You can do manual install if you feel comfortable, but it's simpler to do just do the OIVs. And then next what we'll do is we'll actually go in and do the sirens. So, modern siren pack 3.1.0. As you can see here, there's a shit ton of different sirens we can use. Different codes, and then you click, or different brands, then you click on them, and you can get like different ones as well. I don't want to say that this has every single siren pack in North America, because I know it doesn't. But it has a majority of them. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to open this up, go to the readme. Um, where's the readme? It should be down here, I believe. Yep, here we go. OIV installation. But here's the actual manual installation that we're going to use. 
So we're going to make a new folder on our desktop, name it anything. So we'll just name, get a brand new folder out here. Um, move both the vehicle folder and the vehicle's OAC file out of this RAR, RAR pack into the folder you create on the desktop. So we don't actually have to do that because um, we have the OAC and we have the vehicles here. So what we can just do is we'll open up this folder. You have a whole bunch of different sound files in this folder. So instead of making a separate folder, we can just drag and drop our files into here. So we'll open, open, we have that open. Then we will come into our, um, the open four. And we will go to, as you see where it says here, go to your x64 folder, audio, SFX, and then resident. And then of course, you're going to want to copy that to your mods folder. Always copy that to your mods folder. And sign resident RPF, there should be 16 AWC files, which you see here. And then you're going to go to, once we're done here, so we'll actually install, um, we'll do code 3 Mastercom B Siren. So basically you can throw in some of these as well, it's just a different Rumbler ones for uh, it. But these are going to be like your main ones that you're using. Basically all you do, copy and paste. You can do either control C or right click copy, whichever is easier for you. Go into that vehicles folder, paste, replace all the files in there. So replace them all. And that is that. And then you're going to want to click on your vehicles.awc file. Go to new, import open formats. And then we'll go back to our desktop, sirens, modern siren pack, and then vehicles.oac. And then hit OK. And that should overwrite the uh, main, the default GTA 5 siren. So now we'll actually go right into game and test this stuff out. All right, guys. So as you can see, we are currently in game. Um, NVR did take its um, NVR did overwrite the default files, which it was supposed to do because the game actually does look a lot better. But let's actually go in and check out the lights, like I was saying in the last episode about NVR. Um, the lights were really dim whenever I was doing the installation video. So, let's actually go ahead and take a look at the lights here. Now, check out how bright those are. Those look nice as hell. Look really, really, really nice. Now, I'm assuming that after I threw the vehicles in, something messed up with the Matas. Because as you can see, it didn't do that back then, but it's doing it now. So, I'm going to have to kind of go back in and redo the car coals and the vehicles made is because I'm assuming after I put the graphics mod in it kind of screwed something up but it still looks pretty damn good if I do say so myself um and then here we have we'll go back in the crown vic and then we'll test out the siren so as you can see it did overwrite the siren we have a code 3 master combi in So yeah guys, that is basically the how to install graphics and sound mods. It's going to be all in that same folder for the sounds. That SS, that X64 audio SFX. It won't be resident for everything. It'll be like a mix of those, um, all those folders in there for like vehicles and gun sounds. All that fun stuff. But you guys kind of get the breakdown of it. Just make sure you guys follow all the readmes and everything that come with it. Make backups of your game. I cannot stress that enough to make backups of your game. So, uh, hope you guys did enjoy the tutorial. Hope it was kind of helpful. I know it was kind of a short one, but this kind of stuff doesn't really require like a 20 minute tutorial. So, but yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope it was helpful. Take care.